let's see. Hmm. This is Starling's script, but it's different. Blazes. Can you take a look at that, Kermai? <sighs> of course. Uh, uh, he sees. That's very... Uh, all right, yes. These are directions. To the left is the Shorai, which roughly means workshop. The right corridor leads to the living quarters. He thinks the Shorai will lead us to the top of the main tower. Good. Then left we go. Hmm. I suppose this is where the Council held their meetings, isn't it, Kermai? Wait. Where is he? Huh? He... What in blazes? He was here a second ago. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. We need to find him. Let's split up. We'll meet up again here. he run off in the first place. That's just careless. I couldn't agree more, but at least now we have a trail. Let's see if the lever still works. There you go. Let's see where that leads. What now, Magistra? <sighs> Let's take a look around. He must have gone some... Kirash, this is beautiful. What is this place, Magistra? Can you read the glyphs? I'll try. 
Yes, that... Hmm... Tower of Memories. That should be it. Huh. That hmm? should be it. We got lucky. The prophetess was right. This is an archive. The archive, to be precise. The gathered memories of the ancient starlings. But there's nothing here. We will see about that. Come. was unexpected what now one moment ah here wait what's happening here magistra the starling prophecies were right the ancient fathers have lived in this place for eras maybe eons and throughout the years, they have documented the rise and fall of every civilization. And we're just about to see their memories of the Pyrians. Correct. And they witnessed all of it. Their creation, their bloom, and their downfall. Well, that's the big question, isn't it? But I fear we have no time to wonder about that. Correct. But why? This is murder! If they know how to defend themselves against the High Ones, why didn't they share that knowledge? Who knows? Maybe their hands were tied somehow. Or that. But that's just speculation. What we do know is that neither the Red Madness, the High Ones, nor the Cleansing could harm them, and that their knowledge might be the key to completing the Beacon. Look at that! Welcome Memories of the Ancient Fathers. Let's see what we can learn. As the Grand Master was right about this, the Pyrian history should perfectly reflect the different phases of the cycle, including Zing. The sixth step. The cycle concludes, the cleansing happens, and mankind vanishes just like that. <sighs> Do you see this temple in the background? This must be the temple in the city of a thousand floods, the heart of the Pyrian realm. Hmm, that's the first step of the cycle. Out of nothing, life forms itself, and from that life, man evolves and starts populating the Earth. The second step of the cycle, just as the Grandmaster said, a first civilization arises, blossoms, and falls. For us, it was Asadaron's reign of the Eterna, which collapsed after Starfall. Who knows what it was in the age of the Pyrians? That's... let me see... hmm... yes, this is the creation of a theocracy. After the first civilization falls, a second one arises. That is reigned over by a few who proclaim themselves gods. Do you see the hats? These were the Sun Priests of the Pyrian Realm, the equivalent of our Lightborn. That's step number four, the downfall of the rulers. For us, it was the Shadow God and Narazul Aranthiel who killed the Lightborn. In the Pyrian Age, it was this general, Jakal. He was a member of one of the reigning castes himself, but one day turned against them. The Archmagister told me all about it. He was the Pyrian Shadow God and the Pyrian Tower and Arquaric, all in one, so to speak. The chaos, the war, the red madness. This is the fifth step where we are right now. Do you see this shape in the background? This must be the High Ones who are behind all of it. The cycle nears its end. <sighs> and after the sixth step, it all starts over. So this is the final proof. 
That's the question, but... by the gods. What? Mankind. It ascends to the sky, to the high ones. Oh, by the righteous path, I... Now it finally makes sense. All of it. <sighs> Mankind doesn't vanish at the end of a cycle. It becomes a high one. That is how they reproduce, how they feed, or whatever you wish to call it. Don't you see? These shapes that ascend skywards. Their thoughts, our consciousness, our souls, and all of them together form a new High One. So you are saying that what a High One really is, is the consciousness of an entire civilization? Yes, it's our memories, our thoughts. Our dark knowledge. Our collective conscious. This... this is monstrous. Yes, yes, by the righteous path, that's it. Korak is right. In a way, humanity does reach a new level of existence, because it becomes one of those beasts. Oh yes we do, the word of the dead. You said the aged man left it for you, didn't you? Then this is the way. The Numinos. I know what it is. Or rather, what we need to fill it with. The essence of a High One. It's hard to explain. The problem with the High Ones is that they don't have a physical shape, and this makes it hard to fight them. They are everywhere and nowhere, just like the air. This is why we need the beacon to fight it. It has the power to banish them. It's an assumption, but a well-grounded one. What the beacon does is channel massive amounts of energy and unleash it on its core. Isn't it logical, then, that we need something of what we want to banish? Like an energy signature inside it. It might sound far-fetched to you, but it feels right. Well, this is where it gets complicated. We need to use it on a high one, to enter its mind. If there is any place we can find a High One's essence, it is there. But even if that would work, where are we supposed to find a High One? You said it yourself, Magistrate, they don't have a physical form, and even if they had, they surely wouldn't reveal themselves to us. That is correct, but I know where to find one. Where the last cleansing took place, that is where we need to go. And once we are there, you need to listen to the Echo. Of course. But since the you High Ones are immaterial and will not correct, the Echo grants you the ability to feel and relive the memories of this world. Yes. This means that we have to find the Holy City of the Pyreans, where the last cleansing took place. The well, I hope this place can help us find the answer. If the ancient starlings witnessed the entire cycle of the Pyreans, then they surely knew a lot about the geography of the world as it was back then as well. We need to keep searching. Come, let us go back to the tower. Entities who reproduce by devouring the consciousness of an entire civilization? That's just bizarre. Is it? Don't we ourselves breed pigs so that we may eat them once they are fat enough? In a way, the High Ones are just like us, except that it's our thoughts that they are after rather than our bodies. It bears a certain kind of logic. You cannot deny that. Hmm. Knowing that, Korak's story about mankind ascending to another level isn't as far-fetched as it first sounded. We don't cease to exist. We coalesce into something else. Into a High One. Yes, but is this new High One really us? Or does it just need us to come forth? Yes, we know now that this is how they reproduce. But we still know far too little. How did they come into being? How long has this been going on? So many questions. True, but if I may say so, Magistra, we should save the philosophical questions for after we have stopped the cleansing. Of course. Well then, let's see what...
Kermai? They are here! They have been here all along! Kermai! Where by the righteous path were you? He was a fool to bring you here! You soil born are too dangerous! You've always been... But he was too blinded! Blinded by his dream to finally finish her and sail home! I don't like this, Magistra. What are you talking about, Kermai? The fact that the ancients left this city doesn't have anything to do with us! Stop you talking! Darn it, you are so ignorant! They are here, but they won't reveal themselves to us because they don't accept your presence! Because you are unworthy of them! He rationalizes? What do you take him for? A fool! He will prove his worth to them! He will show that he deserves to live among them! Kermai, stop this! Right now! The defense system, of course! They will understand! To arms! Forgive him! It has to be done! Fight him back and leave! That was all of them, I think. Saira, what... What happened up there? The Magistra... She didn't deserve that. Yes, of course. But what now, Saira? And surviving these creatures will be a challenge, too. Yes, you're right, we do. That means back to the dock. Come on, let's get back to that elevator. Correct. Magistra Jaela, dead. She was already a keeper long before the Grandmaster was even born. It's just not fair.
Hmm, that looks good. Let us hope it also leads us down the tower. Get ready. Kirosh. That doesn't look good. That's one way to put it. This flying steel creature must have noticed them. Yes, that would be the most reasonable thing to do. But as long as that alarm is active, this place is a death trap. In other words, we need to find a way to switch it off. Well... That's what we need to find out. But do you remember that Surai that Kurmai told us about when we first entered the tower? He said it meant something like workshop. I suppose that's our best chance. Come on, let's get back inside. That doesn't look good. I... This flying steel creature must have... I agree, but... Go... Well, that's what we need to find out. But do you remember that... Thank you. 
Look, over there. That looks promising. Did it work? Damn it. But 